Hello community, I have been involved with many self-help, financial improvement, personal development programs over many decades. I can wholeheartedly say, that a prep to thrive is one of the most important and practical programs being offered with tremendous education and financial development value and at exceptionally low cost. Designed for those who are challenged daily to advance personally, financially, spiritually, and professionally. It is with excitement I share this. Join us now. Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Look no further. Junique's Multicultural Connections invites you to join our team at iPrep to Thrive. Led by Pamela Kelly, the visionary creator of the Century 510 program. Join Junique's Multicultural Connections team at iPrep to Thrive. Membership is only $10 per year. Let me share with you a call I had with Pamela. Wow, it tells you. So, Pamela Kelly, this is Ricky. We hey, are going to have a conversation about your program. And what's so cool about this conversation? It's just that. So you don't have to just wait for me to figure it out and ask you certain things. If it's something you know to get covered today, I know we're not going to cover everything because there's so much we can talk about. Absolutely. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the program for those who are not aware of it, the I Prep to Thrive program with this visionary lady who's come up with this great way of taking what we already know. Uh, your dollar only can go so far. Most of us don't have enough of those things right now, and most of us spending way more than we got, so how do we change that? And Pam has come up with this formula, 5, 10, 10, 7, 5, that works. It's a, you can apply it. Now, it may not happen in the next 10 minutes, but it's something to start working toward. So what I'm going to do is let Pam explain the program and go into the 5, 10, 10, 7, 5 component of it. So I turn the floor over to you, Pam. Well, thank you so much, Ricky, for giving me the opportunity to, to share uh, what I've learned about my journey. And, you know, you, you mentioned program. It, it's really a journey uh, for me in the use of what I call 5, 10, 10, 75, which is a, a tool and it's really old school financial wisdom of learning not to spend 100% of your dollar. And if you think of 5, 10, 10, 75 as buckets, if you add those numbers, it adds up to 100. So what I experienced way back in 1996, uh, for those of you who may have been in the North Carolina or the uh, southeastern area of the country, uh, there was a hurricane, uh, Hurricane Fran. And it was very devastating for me. At that time, I had two small children, and I was making good money and had a 401K, all those really great things that you have with a, with a job that you feel secure. secure and, and, uh, and what happened? A hurricane. Everything shut down. Uh, as much as I thought I had, I did not have access to. You don't have access to a 401k. Um, if you have a debit card, all the debit cards, uh, all of the electronics and a lot of local shops shut down. I didn't have a lot of cash. So that was really 10 days of just a traumatic experience. And fortunately, my kids were very young. They simply remember it as, a, uh, as an adventure. But out of that experience, I said, never again will I be caught with um, I guess uh, my pants down figuratively, and I came up with a a way of simply, well, not it, and it wasn't simple. You know, things don't happen overnight. Sometimes you have to change habits. I came up with a way to look at my dollar and commit to not spending all of it. And it was very difficult at first because that was my habit <laughs> to spend all my dollar because I knew I was going to have another paycheck. So I looked at my spending habits, and some things, I was really a gadget town. I liked to buy uh, a different things. I was into computers even back then, but uh, I, would, I would buy a lot of items, charge it, and, you know, 
if you charge it, you're going to have to pay for it. And sometimes I didn't pay for it at the end of the month, and I began to look at why was I not having money at the end of the and end of the month. And so when you begin to do that, you begin to see that certain habits are are what are causing you um, to spend all of your dollar, no matter whether you make a hundred thousand or ten thousand or twenty thousand. It doesn't matter how much you make, it's how much you spend and how much you keep. So based upon that, um, I, I used a spreadsheet and created a, a way of entering any amount, and it splits it into buckets, 5, 10, 10, 75, with 75% being the, the recommended maximum that you should spend for your uh, consumer spending, such as bills such as getting your nails done, such as uh, car repair, all of those things, it, it's not easy at first, but that's the, uh, that's the goal, spending 75% or less of your dollar, and that way you have 10% uh, to save. Another 10% if uh, you are a part of a faith community, uh, you, that's the amount that you give back or pay forward. And a lot of times that is, you know, that's, something of a mindset change for people to make giving intentional. But when we look at how relationships are built, they're not built on paying bills. You don't have relationships with vendors. It's people that you engage with in the community in the form of giving your resources and helping out. Those are the relationships that matter, that when stuff hits the fan, um, those are the relationships that are priceless, that mean more than money. And I found that during Hurricane Fran, um, that's what mattered most. The folks that I had helped in the past, they, they helped me because I had given to them, they gave to me, and that's how I got, that's how I got through that, that ordeal. And then there's your 5% bucket, which uh, all of us have a kinship community. For instance, I'm African American, I'm a woman, I'm Christian. It's important to me to, to see my dollar to churn, as I call it, in other words, give that money to people in those kinship communities who then churn it with other people um, who share their, you know, share their beliefs. So that's what 510-1075 is about. It's a way of us um, looking at our dollar, not spending all of it, but being able to allocate it so it not only builds our family, builds wealth, but helps our community. That's it. In a nutshell, Ricky. <laughs> and it's that's a powerful nutshell. That, okay, so I've used to recommend 80-20 to folks and people familiar with the parathal principle where it says, hey, 20% really produces 80% of your output. I used to tell people that 20% of your of any of your resources, especially your time and money, you should put to yourself. So if you made a dollar, I said 20 cents, should be stuck off on a corner somewhere, not to be touched, and 20, and out of that 60 minutes, right, we're talking about 12 minutes, you go to you. So I was breaking it down like that. You've taken it a step further, which I think is so cool, is saying, okay, let's, let's go 25%. Now, here's what I really like about what you've done. It's one thing to recommend to people, suggest to people something they should do to improve their life, to make it better, and that's real cute. Most of the time, none of the stuff being presented, one makes any sense or is realistic. What I like about 5, 10, 10, 75 is it's realistic. And, and not only is it realistic, this app, it shows them, hey, and it breaks, because I've looked at it, it breaks it down to actually if you could save 40 cents a day, you could, you could be in the game. So I went, okay, that's real. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, that's something I could do. Now, the other thing you've done is that you just said something about people need to have other folks or kin, a kinship community. Right, right. Yeah, you know, Ricky, every, every culture, uh, when, when we observe why some cultures are very progressive and others um, maybe not, not as, as progressive, uh, those cultures that invest in, in their infrastructure, such, such as their, their, the youth in their community, who build places where 
kids and families can flourish. Um, that's where the relationships are, are built. And that cannot be done effectively if you take your dollar and you're saying, I will spend, uh, and she, actually to use your 80-20, um, I will spend 80% on my bills. I will then spend 80% on saving. What amount have you then churned or sent back into your community to help your community grow? And when I say community, again, the folks that, that share the same culture as you, that share the same um, belief uh, system as you. We cannot leave out folks in our community uh, who, who may not be as fortunate as us. So when you're spending 80% and saving 70%, yes, you're helping yourself, but it really is not helping uh, a, a community grow. And those communities that are, that are growth oriented, that have a lot of wealth, you will find that they intentionally and, and with reciprocity, they seed a portion of money beyond their needs, beyond their savings. They seed that back into their kinship community. So that's why 5, 10, 10, 75 is uh, a useful tool because, it, you know, the app that I did create that is available on both um, iPhone and uh, Google Play for Android, you know, it automatically buckets your dollar, whatever amount you put in, it splits it into those five buckets, which is, you know, 5% for community investment, which is really, what, five cents out of a dollar? But that, in fact, I feel that 5% is the most powerful <laughs> because it is what builds community centers. It is what builds uh, banks that are owned by that community. It is what builds, um, builds uh, residences. So, it's, it's probably the most important component or bucket uh, besides your saving oh, the whole and, thing is. and giving. The, the whole, okay, so the whole application is, again, it's realistic, it's doable. You just said it has a nickel on every dollar. Can you, can you think? Most people can grab that. It's like if I said you need 50 bucks or 100 bucks, they're like, you get out of here. I don't have any kind of money. But I say, hey, can you take a nickel of that dollar? And, 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 and it may not be every time. Again, this is about repositioning how you okay. are dispersing, mm -hmm. spending your money. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, because I, what I really appreciate about you is, you, you know, we talk about the problems, but you have taken the time, effort, and energy to come up with some solutions. So, at this moment, I definitely want you to tell the world the, your website, how to get a hold of you. And the reason I want them to know that website is because where a lot of this stuff that you're talking about can happen, even that kinship community, if you don't have one, you can get one by going over to this site because there's like-minded people showing up over there. You can start Absolutely. a community. So, Pam, tell me, the world, how would I get to you? My website is iPrepToThrive.com. You don't even have to put the www in front of it, just iPrepToThrive.com. And just uh, check out the information there. I actually have a lot of free downloads. Um, I have, like, saving schedules where for just 40 cents uh, a week, each, uh, you know, add 40 cents to the amount from the last week and you can have $500 in one year, which statistically 78% of us um, do not have $1,000 in emergency savings. So uh, what I promote is, is what I call tier one, tier one preparedness, uh, providing resources to help people get to their uh, safety emergency fund. And after you do that, then there's people within my environment that you can uh, talk about if you have extra income, about investing it, uh, people who can help you with uh, saving your important documents or creating, because that's essential. Uh, we all need to have some way of uh, passing on uh, whatever wealth that we've acquired. And in the African-American community, that is a concern because uh, 
statistically, it says that by 2053, uh, if we are not able to save in the ways that other progressive communities do, that um, we will have zero median income. So that's one of the prime reasons why I started I Prep to Thrive. But, you know, everybody needs a preparedness buddy. And so uh, the pleasure I have with just, uh, you know, meeting people who sign on as an alumni member is providing those resources and that whole community of people who want to see you prosper. Uh, not, just, not just revive, not just survive, but to revive and thrive 365 days a year. So that's iPrepToThrive.com. I'm telling you, that's the, that's the, the people should write that down on their forehead, on their arm, whatever they got to do to hang on to it, and then go log in and check it out. Because, and here's the other good part about it. So, yeah, we got this Internet, and it's big, and everybody thinks that's what they got to be on, but this is actually about your local community. So when you get to that website, you're going to see so many business owners, operators over there, that's part of the churn list that Pamela is talking about. And these are people that provide services, and that's part of that, hey, put money back with the folks that might want to help me because they like me. So what I like about what's going on is, again, you're not just throwing out what people should do and should think better about themselves and handle their money better. You're not talking about, hey, you need to get your credit uh, repaired so you can go get in more debt. You're talking about, <laughs> Something I think is very realistic, very simple. You don't need the Internet to pull this off. That's the cool thing about it. Again, the application is the 40 cent a week thing. You don't need, you don't need, an, app, you don't need an Internet to make that happen. That's the right. The 5, 10, 10, that's all about yeah. just taking whatever you got and starting to apply this formula to it and then taking that – and applying it to something that betters your world. So I will say, yes, our community has a lot of knowledgeable people about a lot of things and having documents. What happens if you get sick? Who's going to look after you? Do you have that, do you have that legally taken care of? Uh, what happens if the paycheck don't come in? That's well, right. Do you, do, have, have, do you have a prepared this pantry? Do you have food to last for 30 days? So, uh, yeah, those, those are all Tier 1, again, what I call Tier 1 preparedness essentials, getting your cash stash, getting your food pantry, um, getting your communications um, plan for your family, um, having a, a power, a way to have power. And, you know, you can do this on, on a budget, just having backup power. So those are, we have so many resources to really fortify people, fortify, help fortify families with those, uh, those essentials. So, so that you know what you can sleep well at night. There's no, you know, perfect preparedness plan, but when you have some of those basics in place, you really do sleep better at night, and you know, you wake up in the morning believing in the future, and and that's a, a big part of what we want to do. And and that positive piece of it is so powerful. So here's what I know. I could talk to you for hours. And you already told me that ain't something you want to do anyway, so that's okay. But there is so much to cover about what you're doing, who you're interacting with. Uh, when I went to your website, I saw a lot of collaboration. I saw a lot of connectivity. I saw a lot of productivity. I went, wow, she's not just talking, she's doing. But you're not just saying it's just you, you need to come over to my group and do it. They're like, no, folks, this is applicable to anybody that wants to do it in their neighborhood. Or if you want to get on the Internet, you want to have a website. Now, I will let the listeners know, we'll be able to help anybody that who does want to do that. If they want to get on the Internet and create a web page or learn how to put products out there, we'll show you how to do that. Now, here's the mind-blowing part about it, folks. We can show you how to do that without you spending monthly fees to do it. I mean, I'll give you the magic word called Google. Google has provided so <laughs> many products and tools at no cost that allow you to start a business, go online, have a website. Amazon will give you products. Uh, Pam will talk about later how the affiliate program can help you. 
But here's what I like about it. You don't have to go start a business to be part of this community. You just can come learn about how to make sure in case the water go off, you ain't worried about having a drink of water the next five minutes. Or if the ATM machine don't work, you're not panicked. Or you're trying That's to figure right. out how to develop more income. Well, you're going to be shown how to do that. So here's what I'm Oh, absolutely. Do. Absolutely. And and if I may add, Ricky, because I'm excited about us our, uh, collaborating on really uh, uh, what I call a campaign, and that, you know, we can uh, share a little bit about it now but talk at length about it in the next conference call because this is what excites me. You know, even when people download the app for 5, 10, 10, 75 uh, and start entering those amounts um, to bucket their dollars, it's, it's very correct. If, if you're already spending 100% of your dollar, it's going to be very difficult to reach that 75%. We realize that. So what I have built into my program, again, if, if uh, people become alumni members, if you re share the good news with someone else and they become an alumni member, you get 17% of the membership fee. But what we are also launching is a campaign because I want to see uh, us become merchants. We all have to have multiple streams of income. Everybody knows something. Everybody has top ten favorites that they probably buy from, from Amazon. Amazon makes three hundred makes billion dollars a year from us spending our money with them. It's now time for us to recover some of that, um, some of those dollars to add back to our five, ten, ten, seventy five so that we are able to offset the reduction in those expenses, but have additional income. So our next call, um, we are going to roll that out. And I call, and, and I haven't. This is the first time I'm mentioning it, but my goal is really to get 10,000 people in our community as merchants to be able to create a website. And Ricky mentioned the Google tools. That is the secret. We're going back to old school and using the tools that have been around for at least a decade. And anyone, here's the great thing about it, you don't, it's, it's completely free because if you have a Gmail address, you can create an Amazon affiliate account, combine it with uh, a, a Google website, and, and Ricky's going to share on how to do that. You can actually be in business and start selling products and earn some income um, in preparation for this uh, next shopping season. So I want to get people into that pipeline um, well before October. And so we're going to be doing that however many calls it takes. And so that's something I just wanted to, to share that that's, that's an exciting campaign. Uh, I like to call it 10,000 Merchants by Monday. <laughs> now, okay. I didn't say what Monday, but I think that that is the goal and, and we can do it because I want to see everybody um, not only reduce spending, but increase their income, and and so let's let's go for it. Thanks, Ricky. And thank you. And, and in case, because the phone quality kind of messes up sometimes. So, folks, I prep to thrive. dot com. In case the call you missed something in it, don't worry about it. You just go over to that website, and you'll find all this information. Um, we're going to be doing these calls more often, so we're going to be covering specific subject matter sometimes. Sometimes we'll just have general conversation. And as the community keeps going, hey, put in, um, you know, email uh, Pam and let her know, hey, this is the subject I would like to cover, because we're in most of the social groups. Absolutely. So you have a way, you all have a way to con connect and communicate with us, and then we'll make calls specifically for that. Oh, by the way, we show you how you can use this same tool, this conference calling tool, to help grow your business, to work with your family members. See, I like what Pam just said. We're going to old school you. You, you, ain't, you don't have to have a high tech. You ain't going to learn artificial intelligence, program language. Nope. Just regular old, hey, tell people what you're trying to do, share it with some folks, and, and do it with the people locally. We're not trying to get you to get people to come from Arizona to use your services in North Carolina. No. Find somebody in your local area that probably can use what you have or can help you with what you're doing. So I'm Ricky with Janique's Multicultural Connections. We've been talking with Pam Kelly, 
the visionary of the <laughs> 5, 10, 10, 7, 5 program, 75. And we're going to be doing this some more. Pam, do you have any last words you want to share? Yes, I like to say uh, to everyone uh, something that that hopefully is encouraging, and that's to, to live by faith today and, and prepare by faith for tomorrow. Uh, and we'll just take it a day at a time. But I look forward to uh, meeting folks uh, in the community, and let's prosper together. Thank you. I, I'm telling you, I'm so with you. Let's go for the 10K. I'm down with it. That's right. We can do it. 